with Gio Martinez, Freakazoid, number one no geek grappler in the world. Tell us about your gym. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're out here at Ten Planet Oceanside. Uh, we just got a new gym. It used to be uh, the old school uh, UFC Oceanside over here, but it went under, I guess, and we went up and we ended up taking over. We have a really awesome facility with a lot of you know cool spots to train at. You know, you could do you could be on the mass training, you could be on the ring training, you could be working out, you could do a lot of different things. So we have a well-rounded uh, gym now, and I'm super excited about it. Right on. How do you balance? being a gym owner now and being a professional grappler? Um, it's just, you gotta have passion behind everything you do and I'm very passionate about, you know, being a competitor it makes me happy. I like competing and testing my abilities out there against some of the best guys in the world. And I like challenging myself when it comes down to building a, a team and a, a crew, you know what I mean? Cause it's not easy. A lot of people end up being good at jujitsu, but they don't do anything with it after. And I'm trying to build a community and really elevate the people around me, not just myself. That always made me feel good when I help other people around me. So I think just building a, a spot where people could come and train and feel good and just improve on their skills makes me feel good, makes me feel happy. So I'm focusing on that and I'm very passionate about that. And I'm also passionate about competing because that's what got me into this, you know, just being active in the competitive scene was always fun and interesting to me because I was a b-boy and I always loved to battle. Who are some of your training partners you got now? You know, I always train with my brother, Boogie Man, Richie Martinez. He's my, uh, you know, he's always been my number one training partner. But I got like Kyle Chambers, you know, he's coming up right now, doing really well in the circuit. Ricky Lule, he's done really well. He's been with me for a while. He's a really good wrestler, but ended up just adapting his jiu-jitsu with wrestling. So I get a lot of good training with him since he's a really good wrestler. But we got striking coaches here like AJ now. You know, we got a lot of people like Adam, they're building their striking program here and I'm working with them a lot, trying to elevate, you know, be well-rounded as well. So anyone that wants to get well-rounded, you know, at this spot, we have a little bit of everything. We have different coaches, but we have a lot of people that are just active, competitive and want to improve and, you know, go out there and have dreams of being successful either in MMA or just Jiu-Jitsu or just striking itself. Ryan, where do you see Jiu-Jitsu evolve over the next five years? I think you did too in the next five years is just gonna be a lot of um, you know, well rounded young people that know everything because nowadays everything's kind of already being brought out into like the DVD world. A lot of people are doing BJJ fanatics and revealing their whole systems and people are studying those systems and doing a really good job adapting them into their gym. And I think a lot of people are gonna benefit off that because people are just gonna improve quicker, evolve quicker. You know, you have the whole Danaher system, you have guys out there teaching leg locks and defense to leg locks and crazy. You can find anything from anybody. The best of the best are out there making money, which is good. You know, a lot of guys are making money. I think a lot of people are gonna keep making money off like DVDs and stuff like that. And I think it's just gonna keep growing. Honestly, there's no turning back at this point. When I started, it was pretty big, but now I went to a whole different level and I just think it's gonna keep going up in many different ways. More people, better technique, you know, better skills and more money. You got your black belt under Eddie Bravo. You got any crazy stories about that guy? Eddie Bravo got tons of crazy stories from Eddie Bravo, but crazy as in like, uh, I'm trying to think what, what kind of crazy story would what, what I want to... Eddie's just a wild man. Everything he does is just super interesting, over the top, and, you know, it's who he really is. He just always has... Everywhere we go, he, he knows everybody as well, though. You know, I can't go anywhere without... If I'm hanging out with Eddie, just people hear his voice, and he's so... People recognize his voice, and they're like, oh, you Eddie, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's pretty intense, but crazy stories, just like, I don't know, just... You know, we've been we've been drunk many times, and if you know, if you know Eddie... Um, a lot of people call him the Indian, you know what I mean? When he when he uh, drinks too much and he he, had, he says the Indian comes out and there's been several times when the Indian came out, especially like on his birthday or like the holiday parties. Uh, he always throws a big Ten Planet um, holiday party, invites all the all the gents from all over the world. They all come out and celebrate, and he likes to you know let the Indian come out and celebrate. And uh, when the Indian comes out. Usually, you know, it, it's a good night, wild night, I guess. What do you tell a young grappler who wants to be a professional like you? You know, just take it serious. Like, if you really want it, you gotta commit yourself, do everything that you have to do, because there's people out there that, that dedicate their whole life to this and really work hard and, you know, do everything they can to hit that next level. So there's a lot of people that you're competing against that want that same thing you want. 
So you have to really go all in, do a little bit of extra credit, enjoy it too though. You know, the grind, the experience itself is what makes you hit that next level. So even the ups and downs, sometimes it's gonna not be good. You know, you're not gonna get the results you want. You can't let that take you off course. You gotta just stay focused and remember, you know, your ultimate goal. And at the end, the journey itself is gonna be the reward. But you'll see and you'll realize that no matter what, just putting time on the mat, dedication, and, and um, working hard is gonna pay off. And you're gonna feel it and you're gonna see it. So just commit, go all in. Even the tough days, you gotta push through it, stay dedicated and focus. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Hey, 10 Planet Oceanside, 10 Planet Freaks, we don't sleep. This right here, everyone always asks me what this means. It means, you know, my jiu-jitsu, my gym, what we do, it's gonna blow your mind. Whoosh.